Hello and thank you for joining me again in another video for the Roland Aerophone Go. For those of you that have been following the series so far, you'll know that my last video was on using synth apps with the iPad. And in this video, I'd like to show you actually where I spend most of my professional uh, working life, if you like, on as far as a wind synthesizer player. And that's using uh, similar things, but this time on the computer. Uh, as you may have already noticed, I'm a Mac uh, computer user, but I know that the setups are very similar on the PC. Now, uh, playing on the iPad sounds is, is fantastic. The Roland Aerophone Go Plus app also offers lots of sounds. But for me, it's here on the uh, computer where the instrument really has a vast world of possibilities. I can only show you a tiny little glimpse here, but follow this next video. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm already connected to my computer via Bluetooth, so I don't have to have any uh, cables hanging uh, in my way. And um, I've shown you that setup, by the way, in an earlier video, so you'll be able to go back and look at how to connect via Bluetooth. Of course, if I want to, I can still connect by a USB cable. Now, just to explain here, I'm using a program called Mainstage. It's about 30 pounds uh, sterling, I believe. And um, it, it's an amazing app because it not only allows you to set up this screen exactly the way you'd like it to be, but this is the software that allows you to load in various different synthesizers. It comes with quite a few already, but there are lots of uh, synthesizers that you can load into this program and then use with the Aerophone Go. So I'm going to look at two particular things in this video. Firstly, it's going to look at some of the synth apps that we can already use pretty much straight out of the box with the Aerophone Go. There are third party uh, programmers, if you like, that will make some of those sounds already programmed to work with the Aerophone Go. So that's gonna be our quickest and easiest line into these new sounds. But again, if you'd like to get into a little bit of programming for yourself in uh, quite a basic way, but it'll make these sounds work with the Aerophone Go that perhaps wouldn't have originally worked, I'm going to show you a really nice little trick that will get you going on a vast number of sounds um, without having to purchase any other software or additional programmed sounds. So please follow along with the next section. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's look at this first section here. I have all my list of sounds down this left-hand side here, and most of these are different synth apps. And we're just gonna look at uh, just a few of them. Um, I get a bit excited about this, and uh, <laughs> there are loads of these here. I could play you a huge amount of examples here. Um, but we're firstly going to look at uh, this sound here, which is a, a Krumar EVI sound. Now, you remember I said in the first section, this is um, a, a program within main stage. So this already uh, comes with this application. And um, it's a synthesizer app. But what's been done here is that sounds have been especially written to work with the Aerophone or with any EWI. And um, so you load in a series of new patches which have been especially tweaked to work with the Aerophone. And um, we've got a whole list of different sounds here. And so quite quickly, we're ready to go 
with my Bluetooth connection and I can play uh, my sounds with very uh, a great amount of expression. My lip control is working. I'll show you that now. And uh, the sound is responding to breath pressure. So when I blow harder, the sound is not only getting louder, but there are envelopes that are changing within the sound to make it really expressive. You can see the uh, lip control and you can hear the, the breath control and um, there's, there's a huge number of sounds here already, um, including some sounds that have chords built in. So they are all going to work straight away with the Aerophone Go, a vast number of sounds right out of the box. There's also a huge number of uh, emulation instruments, if you like, or imitative uh, instruments. And uh, here's one um, uh, of, uh, actually it's a flugelhorn sound. Uh, by the way, all of these apps I'll list below so that you can follow the links uh, and find out more detail for yourself here. But um, I love the flugelhorn sound, uh, and I think this is really expressive. Again, this comes in, a, uh, in a, a program here that you can load into main stage. This one is programmed specifically to work with uh, an aerophone. Really expressive lip control, a lovely sort of breathy quality to the start of soft sounds, and then some brightness in the sound when you when you want to get louder. Um, so there's that there's that one there, and uh, similarly, um, a, a fantastic uh, violin uh, emulation here from the uh, Swam Company. There's a video on my channel already of me playing uh, the fantastic Schindler's List on that instrument there. Uh, you really need to, to go and listen to that. So again, just a really brief uh, look at some of the apps that we can load in to the computer and get some astonishing results uh, from the Aerophone. But now let's go and look at some of those apps, perhaps not specifically set up to work with the Aerophone, but a really simple way of uh, making them work and getting some expression out of those sounds as well. I showed you this uh, ES2 synthesizer. This comes with the main stage app uh, straight away. And again, if you remember in my other iPad synth apps, video, we showed you a really uh, simple little tweak as how we can alter some of these sounds to work with the uh, Aerophone. So this is now a sound, I'm going to select this Synth Leeds Miami uh, lead here. Now um, again, it looks rather complicated, um, but as I play this instrument now, It's making a sound, but I have not got any breath control. If you remember what we found out on the synth apps for the iPad, we looked for um, a cutoff frequency control. Now, 
it tends to be in slightly different places on different apps. So sometimes you've got to do a little bit of digging around. But for instance, on this one, it's down here. There's a sort of routing section here. And there's already a control that's been set up to um, control the uh, cutoff uh, frequency. Now, if we go down here to the source and just scroll down to breath, Now it's responding quite nicely. My other favorite sounds here uh, actually come from uh, uh, the Roland Cloud. Uh, the Roland Cloud is still fairly new to me anyway. Um, but again, there are a huge number of classic uh, vintage synths uh, within the Roland Cloud. Now this is a subscription service as a lot of applications are going that way now and um, but once you've signed up to the subscription service and by the way I believe there's a, a free trial usually that you can uh, take part in uh, then we've got all these classic synthesizers that we can now access um, and with a small tweak we can make these sounds work really well with the aerophone. So once again, we've, we've got this sound here. We can play the keyboard here to try these sounds out. Uh, but on the aerophone, I've got no breath uh, response again. So I've really got no dynamics happening here. Let's look out for that uh, cutoff frequency again, because that's the first place we can go and begin to immediately get some expression out of a lot of these synth sounds. Now, this is really easy on the uh, Roland sounds because they all work in a very similar way. So here I found cutoff frequency. And if you remember in the uh, in that last video, we programmed the cutoff frequency to work with the breath sensitivity from the aerophone. Now, this is really straightforward. If you right click on cutoff frequency and then it says learn MIDI CC. Now, all we're going to do is click that, blow into the aerophone, and that's going to automatically tell this synthesizer to react to my breath pressure. Okay, now, when you watch that cutoff frequency dial, works really, really well. And again, just like on the iPad apps, when I change to a different sound, uh, that same setting remains. So I don't have to go through and even change the, the reprogram the setting because each sound will do the similar idea. <laughs> There's some weird and wonderful sounds out there. So that's the JX3P. Uh, um, of course, uh, there are other fantastic um, uh, sounds as well from that selection. Here is the uh, Juno 106 sound, uh, the control for the uh, frequency cutoff is now here on this slider. So again, we can say learn MIDI CC, and we've got all of those sounds uh, that we can use. Um, it's a huge amount of, uh, of sounds that, that, that are available here. One more, shall we? Uh, System 8 sounds. And this is one of the more recent uh, Roland uh, synth sounds. If I can uh, get this one to open up here, didn't uh, get my click properly, here it is. 
And again, we've got a uh, frequency uh, cutoff here uh, that we can program. Uh, and of course, we can even combine some of these sounds. So this sound, for instance, I've got uh, uh, some of that ES2 synthesizer. I've got some of the um, System 8 sound that you just heard. And I'm actually putting it through uh, something that turns my notes into chords as well. I've got a big wall of sound here. So it's uh, just amazing what you can do and all with fantastic expression because of the breath control and the lip control. I'm wirelessly uh, connected to my computer so I haven't got any cables dangling and getting in my way. And uh, as I say, this is where I spend uh, most of my sort of professional life as a wind synth player within this app uh, with all of those possibilities. And uh, even I've only just scratched the, the, the surface of all of this. Um, there are so many possibilities. So hope you've enjoyed that video. Thank you very much again for uh, stopping by and, and looking again. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and thank you to all of you for, for your support. Uh, I think the channel has just surpassed a million views now, which I'm really excited about. So thank you for that. And um, I shall keep going with these videos. So please stay tuned and see you in the next one.